Good Wednesday evening, NBC3 meteorologist Mike Brookins here. Yes, spring has sprung. The trees are sprouting. The flowers have come up through the ground and the snow piles, they're getting smaller and smaller. George Primiano in North Syracuse behind the Baptist Church shows what's left of that long, cold February. A little dirty snow or if you like winter, maybe this is a pretty thing here. I've also seen some pictures now just coming in from Pompey. Uh, one snowbank still six feet tall. So there are some spots, believe it or not, even with these near 70 degree temperatures where winter at least is still in glimpse form out there. Now we hit 69, almost hit 70. So that snowbank is getting smaller real quickly with this type of weather, especially with the sunny skies. 70 degrees, the high in Rome, 64 in Cortland, a little cooler in Watertown, 61. Also some cool weather in Buffalo. Stuck in the 50s there and right along the lakeshore from Oswego to Sotus and Fairhaven. They were also in the 50s. So because of the lake water is so cool, those communities cooler. Notice Dansville into the 70s. Nice. 73. Well, we were six degrees above average. Typical high is 63. We hit 69 for today. Still far shy of the record high of 85. Here's what you can expect for tonight. A clear to partly cloudy sky. Temperatures turning cool, so a light jacket recorded late at night. Partly sunny, pleasant for Thursday. Very similar temperatures to what we had today, just not quite as bright, especially during the late afternoon when we stand the best chance for a spotty shower. Did you put some plants in the ground? I put a couple of trees myself in this past week and probably have to water it. Well, Mother Nature might give them a little bit of a water with a few showers for Friday. It doesn't look like it's going to be a lot of rain, though. Still above normal temperatures. I think the rain chances go up dramatically next Monday and Tuesday, but also so does the temperature. Temperatures tonight cooling with a clear to partly cloudy sky. Some patchy valley fog will drop down to the lower 40s. On the future cast, starting off at 7 o'clock in the morning, Thursday, mostly sunny skies. This will be the brightest portion of the day, 6, 7, 8 o'clock. Towards midday, a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Notice the clouds building in from the east northeast, and these will percolate up to a couple of spotty showers by the late afternoon. Not a lot. You see them, especially Syracuse east and to the south. So if you're up in Jefferson, Oswego, northern Cuga, Wayne, Ontario counties, likely you're looking at dry weather. A better chance for a shower here in Cortland County, going over to Madison, Oneida, Herkimer, maybe into Lewis County. Isolated shower in the evening, then dry. Starting off Friday dry, but that moisture is already picking up to the east. And I do think we get a few showers rolling on through late morning and midday on Friday. And then it begins more isolated for the weekend. It's mostly dry, though. I don't have a dry day in my seven day forecast until the very last day. Tonight, definitely dry. Take it to the bank. Our skies clear to partly cloudy. Some patchy valley fog forms late at night. You see the temperatures in the next 12 hours. We go from the 60s to the 50s to the 40s. A low temperature of 42. Winds will be on the light side. Light winds real pleasant for Thursday morning, starting off mostly sunny 45 at 7 a.m. Then a mixture of sunshine and clouds already very close to a normal high by noon. 62 and a high of 68. Thicker cloud cover developing during the afternoon. We may or may not see a shower. Depends. They are going to be spotty and nature, so maybe not everyone sees the chance for rain. Here's the seven day forecast overall pleasant to mild. 64 on Friday. There'll be a few showers, especially late morning and midday. Then just an isolated shower Saturday and Sunday with partial sunshine 68 and 70. We get the mountain goat on Sunday. Low humidity, fairly mild temperatures. Wear some shorts and a tank top. You're good to go. 76 on Monday. That's a little warm for running. We'll find a few showers and storms, scattered showers and storms Tuesday.